Well, hello there. How are you? Don't mind me. Just sitting here primping and prepping for an upcoming presentation that I have about podcasting and how to plan, proceed, and prosper. Why do I wear so many bracelets, you ask? Because they cute. Why not? Anyway, they are a representation of fun and fabulosity for me, okay? Hey, y'all. Welcome, welcome. This is Coach Andrika J. Austin. Forgive the orange tongue. I've been drinking. I don't even pronounce it right. Don't worry about it. It's an orange drink. And I don't even drink soda. So, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, I wanted to jump on here really quick to do part two of a talk that I gave yesterday here on Facebook Live. And if you're watching on YouTube or anywhere else, feel free to comment um, and let me know your thoughts or your questions around this topic that comes up a lot. Now in the comments on Facebook Live, I'm pinning a class that I am hosting. It's a master class for aspiring life coaches. It's called, it's over at blacklifecoachclass.com blacklifecoachclass.com It's a $27 event. It'll be two hours long. Me, you, and a group of people who have registered all talking about life coaching, what's required, what questions you have about it, what it means to become certified, how to become certified, if you qualify to become certified, all with my company, the International Center for Life Coach Training. I share my shirt often here on Facebook. So, if you're new to my tribe, welcome. Forgive the jingles, but this is my thing, bracelets and jingles, okay? And the, the shades here. I'm Andrika J. Austin. I go by Coach AJ. I'm a master life coach trainer, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training LLC, and it's for black women of faith. Y'all are usually between the ages of 45, 55. We have some younger and some older, but you know there's a call on your life because you are such a great listener, you're easy to talk to, and you are that friend that everyone calls on and they tell you these things. So you've wondered if you should become a certified life coach. Well, if you fall in that bracket, black woman <laughs> of faith, want to become a coach, kind of near the age range earlier or later, that's fine. And you're an independent thinker, you're an independent studier, and you need help with what your next step should be with getting certified, then you want to check out blacklifecoachclass.com. I would love to have you there interact and engage with you. Um, you may even get to meet my coach who has been helping me pull all of this together as we've been quarantining. He's been having me practice this presentation and so much more stuff. Now the presentation I have tonight is completely different. So I've placed some things on hold to go do a solid for a fellow coaching colleague helping her coaches learn how to make money doing things like this podcasts and Facebook lives and videos where you share your knowledge and your expertise I love that I get to share my story of how I went from the downsizing of my corporate career dealing with homelessness and the death of my mother happening on the same day that my divorce became final it's a lot um, <laughs> my assistant calls it the triple trauma um, but I use it to build my current empire, which is all about life coach certification and training. And I'm here to answer the question that has prevented a lot of you guys from taking your next step forward in building your empire as a certified life coach. The question of accreditation comes up a lot. And if you've watched part one of this series, you know that I wrote a book. Let's see if I can find the cover here. It's called The Life Coach Revisited. There we go. I just finished editing the last, the final, the end <laughs> chapter of the remix. Um, one of the gifts I'm giving away when you register for blacklifecoachclass.com that's coming up really soon is the e-audio version of this book. It's available now. It has been selling like hotcakes. People love it. And it's an introductory training for getting certified as a life coach where I dive in deep. I'm sitting right here in this closet. In case you didn't know, I record my videos currently in the closet. We call it the coaching closet. And I did that audio e-audio book for you. 
because I know you have questions about things like accreditation um, and I dive into it deeper with that free bonus gift when you register at blacklifecoachclass.com part one of the accreditation discussion yesterday talked about um, how accreditation does not exist in life coaching at the time of this recording when I got off that call I got inspired to do some more digging I told you guys I studied this industry I believe in the three pillars of my company which is entrepreneurial education it's also dealing with economic empowerment for the african-american community through life coaching and ethical engagement meaning we're honest we put it all on the table I share with you what I learned and what I learned yesterday was not only is accreditation just for the college and university system this is how deep it goes so if you ever come across an accredited life coaching program here's what you need to know and you may want to consider asking them questions around what I was able to uncover yesterday so I wrote it down because I'm going to add it to the revise of the book and share just how far this thing is so let me recap really quick what that means as far as accreditation in the United States that's used to ensure that education provided by institutions of higher education meet acceptable levels of quality and that there's a quality assurance process in place and they have a review record a recognition and a validation process so nine times out of nine point five <laughs> <laughs> times when you hear a life coach company say that their training is accredited they have not gone through this process because accreditation does not exist in life coaching however on the university side here's what it looks like so people ask me if the one day online life coach certification training that I provide for black women of faith is accredited and I honestly answer no it's not accredited no life coach certification training is accredited at the time of this recording accreditation does not exist in the life coach certification training industry however some people claim that they're accredited they claim that they're the global leaders or they were first or they've been around the longest or they set the standard or they make the mold or everyone answers to them and it's just simply fake news sorry to tell you and so the more I thought about it I said you know while my program is not affiliated with this whole accreditation scam in the life coaching industry that's what we're gonna call it I call it a myth yesterday today I'm calling it a scam because usually when the time accreditation comes up it's just to build hope in you that you'll entrust your money to the pockets behind the company these people don't know you they don't really care you're just another number in their book and so like, yeah we're accredited it just gives me a creepy feeling to even talk about it now I have a degree in training and development from Mercer University which is an accredited higher institution of higher education or institution of higher education and they do meet the accreditation process they do meet the quality process so I did some research that's my alarm telling me I got like let's see 45 minutes before I have to jump on this live presentation I know. Hey, Lakia, did you say hey when you came in? I forgot to tell y'all to do that because I can't see who's on here, right? So, yeah, girl, it sounds like a scam to me, too. That's why I had to jump back on here. So, I've been talking to the vice provost of my alma mater, Mercer University, because I thought, while my company or no company that offers training and certification is accredited, hey, girl. <laughs> She like I was listening. I was here. <laughs> hey, Marquita. Um, Marquita, you 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 inspired this topic, girl. So this is part two from yesterday. And I said, now while we can't ethically claim accreditation, my degree is from an accredited university. What I did not know, girl, is when I started researching that my provost, the people signing checks and writing rules and making policies and following the actual accreditation process for the college will share the information with its alum I said child Marquita done started something <laughs> she said I'm sorry no don't be sorry because I had this aha moment I was sitting on the toilet I ain't even gonna lie I was thinking about the live and I was like oh, 
what if girl I did some digging hang in there with me I'll make this quick because I gotta go really quick and do this other presentation I'm supposed to be studying for sips tea okay so this is what I wrote this is gonna be in the book y'all if y'all want a copy of the book let me know I'll send you the link on how to purchase cuz it's gonna be good honey it's finished I finished the edits today so here's what I said I can't read my chicken scratch my degree my education okay let me read it <laughs> I can't read my handwriting my education from Clark Atlanta University Georgia Perimeter College Georgia State University and Mercer University and Liberty University your girl is educated okay they have degree programs and so the, the my most recent degree is Mercer University and so that's why I reached out to them because I knew they could, you know, locate my records quicker and whatever if they needed to. But they didn't need to. they like, we got you. Here you go. So these are all accredited institutions of higher learning, just to give you an example of how accreditation works in the college realm. <laughs> and they're accredited by what's known as the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. I'm trying to read my chicken scratch. Um... And these are all schools that award baccalaureate, specialty degrees, master's degrees, doctoral degrees. So I'm in between. I got the bachelor's and I'm working on master's. Now, uh, Mercer is a non-public, non-profit degree granting institution. It was chartered prior to 1955. And it was accredited by a regional um, or national accrediting agency recognized by the United States Department of Education. That's why I say accreditation is a scam in life coaching because we're not affiliated with the department, the United States Department of Education. No, we can't claim that. So if you find um, a certification process that's claiming accreditation, here's what to ask about, okay? Lakia says, I'm signing up for your program. I love the video on Black Woman Life Coach. Thank you, girl. How did you hear about me? Hold on. I'm trying. To, I've been sitting Indian style. My leg going to sleep. Talk to me. Because I'm on, uh, oh, referred by Corinthia. That's my girl. I got to tell her thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay, cool. And we look forward to having you. If you got questions, send it to my inbox. Because like I said, I'm going to make this quick and then I'm going to wrap up and go jump on this other video. I'm going to come back on Facebook live so y'all can watch my other uh, interview. But I wanted to get this out. This counts as my live for the day, Marquita. Just want you to know that. So, if you hear the word accreditation, you have the right before you invest your money. Um... Accreditation requires that you be provided with audited financial statements. So when Mercer and other universities go through this process, they have to show their audited financial statements to whatever institution they are part of. So Mercer is the Non-Public Post-Secondary Education Commission, or GNPEC. They have to do this on an annual basis in order to demonstrate that the institution continues to meet... Um, Statutory standards. I'm trying to read my handwriting. This is hilarious. And so they're checking their money annually. Um, they're checking the fact that they're capable of fulfilling commitments that they've made to students like me who invested and had investments in sponsorships and scholarships and grants and loans of hundreds of thousands of dollars into their educational institution. Somebody's coming behind them and checking that. They're auditing the books. Um, and then it has to be confirmed in writing that this process has happened and that they have been compliant to this process. So what that means is if you hear um, a life coach certification training company telling you that they're accredited, ask them about the last time their books were openly audited. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Ask them for confirmation that it's been audited in writing and then ask them about their compliant process and when the last time they were compliant because they have to do it on an annual basis. Y'all, I'm so educated over the last 24 hours about this on a deeper level than I've even seen being talked about online. But um, accreditation is a reaffirmation process, so you have to consistently go through it. And so if people are telling you they're accredited, ask when their next reaffirmation visit will occur. So for Mercer Child, they emailed me both of their letter, letters of accreditation when their next affirmation is coming up and the last time their books were audited. I think my $100,000 education warrants proof. Same thing with you, whether you invest free 99 or $20,000 at these accredited 
certification trainings are trying to get you to pay. Ask for the receipts. Mercer said, "No, what what is it? Say less. Here you go." They emailed it to me right and early this morning, and I emailed them last night. Like, let me see how this accreditation thing works that everybody's claiming, but nobody's giving facts. This is hashtag facts, okay? Ethical facts. So, um, information on policy and procedures for committing complaints is also part of the accreditation process. Because when you think about it, who is behind these bigger organizations claiming accreditation? Who are they answering to? That's just like when you go to church, pastors need pastors. When you get certified as a coach, coaches need coaches. Who is your covering? Who is your head? <laughs> Lakia says, child, they want all the monies. And they know. Now, I told y'all, I've been watching Dynasty on Netflix. And the white male father patriarch of this dynasty this billion dollar dynasty links black people or African American people to ignorance but you want my money <laughs> from your products and services so let me stamp out that ignorance fill it with education and knowledge and ask you a question that's gonna make you provide the documentation that I've been properly educated and no longer ignorance on this accreditation process right so if you ask them who they're answering to, they're supposed to have an accreditation report. They're supposed to show you that their program has been accredited. But who is their accreditor? Because if Mercer University, a hundred year old uh, institution, one of the five that I named, is showing that they even have a process. That means that they're answering to someone else. And then request that documentation of accreditation or approval. Um, and I have that in my inbox, in my uh, phone downloads. I read through Mercer's. They gave the dates. I think their next year of being re-accredited or reaffirmed is like 2025. So they like, we good, sis. What else you need? You good? We good. I'm like, I'm good. This really satisfied me to know that not only are people scamming and getting away with it, but there's a way we can reverse it. And no one else is going to tell you this truth because no one has spent this much time studying this industry. <laughs> Your girl knows where to go and where to look, right? And so while I do not claim accreditation in my program, I do not claim to be affiliated with anyone that's claiming accreditation. I don't need any one stamp of approval on my program. I told y'all yesterday I have paid my dues, been homeless, living in my car, living in my office, child, the deaths in my family. I have sacrificed enough. I have nothing to hide and nothing to prove to anyone, right? And so God just downloaded and showed me how my degrees as a master life coach trainer, a training and development bachelor holding degree, graduate student at Liberty University, getting my master's in life coaching, they're backed by institutions that follow the accreditation process for colleges and universities. I don't have to claim that for my life coaching. My degree backs it up for me, which then protects my coaches. Y'all are taught by in a the degree holding accredited degree holding master life coach trainer that has the backing of her university awards from the university to prove it what else can you ask for exactly okay Lakeisha <laughs> Lakia I'm sorry is it Lakia Lakia it's Lakia girl I can't see with my glasses on I got you I've been saying your name wrong you can correct me um so yeah I have degrees. Now you will see other little black girls on the internet trying to certify people. And I say trying because child what they sharing, what they teaching. And I get the phone calls of people that have studied with these people like Coach AJ. Uh, yeah, no, nah, we didn't learn this. And I know you didn't, baby. Because <laughs> I'm the only one that's this invested in my education and letting it trickle down to who I coach and who I train and I keep my coaches abreast of that information so learning the true accreditation process what it really takes what it really looks like because see like I said they're claiming accreditation in life coaching and no one has the receipts to prove it child I got the receipts and I'm a part of it and didn't even think I didn't even think about like oh my degrees are through an accredited university let me see what this and Marquita girl <laughs> 
you asked that and I said, oh, I'm going to do a part two. <laughs> so thank you, girl, because it shed more light on this topic and people are quick to ask about accreditation. And, and most of the time it's with a nasty tone. Are you accredited? And now you could be like, child, do you even know what accreditation is? Because the industry has been filled with these lies, with this myth, with these scams. And until I see receipts on a process similar to what I just shared with y'all that the universities go through, until I see a life coach certification company have papers behind bigger organizations they're covering, child, I don't believe it. Don't fall for it. So, at the end of the day, it's still up to you where you invest your money. However, I would want to go with someone who is showing receipts. <laughs> Who is being honest and really cares about your journey as a life coach? Okay, and y'all might not be as bold as me. Look, hi, I got you, girl. Look, hi, right? Because I got a cousin named Kai. Um, her real name is Kai Lil, but we call her Kai. And I wonder is that child? You know, you don't know how your cousin spelled the name until you see their birth certificate. So I don't even know if that's how she spelled. She's a baby, so I don't know if that's how her mom ended up spelling it. <laughs> We just say Kai. So, yes, look Kai. I don't know if y'all would be bold enough to call them scammers, child. I will. Because, like I said, I ain't got nothing to hide, nothing to prove. So, one of my coaches is emailing me. Let's see. Our latest coach is a judge, y'all. I was so excited. We have judges, ministers, pastors, reverends, couples, um, Uber drivers. <laughs> We have 130 certified coaches around the world, and they have the most unique jobs, okay? So, your honor, I was playing around with her when she called. I was like, should I call you a judge? She's like, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> so, we got a judge getting certified with us. Child, that's receipts, okay? Them people, these are people you want to be affiliated with. All right. Okay, so she has specific questions about her training. I'm going to get to my judge okay I gotta go give her my time she has paid for this training she gets my undivided attention so before I go thank y'all for joining me do y'all have any questions I know I add fun and excitement to this to make you laugh this is a serious topic and I'm big on education one thing about me I grew up in sales com um, customer service and nonprofit but I would never offer a sale a product <coughs> excuse me unless I knew it's as much as I could absolutely know about that product. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me, get some air going in here. So, yeah, my, my supervisors and stuff will be bothered because I wouldn't want to sell just off a of whim. I'm like that with life coaching. I need to know as much as I can know because y'all are counting on this. Like I said, there are not a lot of people who are studying this industry from its foundation excuse me and sharing this information because they don't know to do it I am highly educated and very ethical and the last partnership I had um, with the life coach training company the founder was like you are the most ethical person I know because I'm very honest I don't care how much money you have I don't care how much money you do not have we're human we all bleed red blood until we see otherwise so that means we all deserve proper knowledge and education when it comes to where we invest our money. So those are just my values and principles. Education is big in my life. And so that's why I show up with this piece in my company. Yep. La Kaya. Got it. Okay. So before I butcher it anymore, I'm going to go practice. La Kaya. She like, don't call me no nickname. Don't add nothing. I think the apostrophe is what it is. Girl, I'm Andrika, so I know what it's like for people to mess up your name. So, La Kai Ya. La Kai Ya. Got it. La Kaya Stinson hyphen Mayfield. Okay. All right, y'all. Any questions before I go? I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. La Kai Ya. Oh, okay. I see it now. I read it too quick. I thought you were saying. Look high. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I read that too quick. Any questions before I go? Look high. Look high. Yeah. Have you um, watched the video that I shared? Kai. Oh, thank you, girl. I usually just give people nicknames, but I didn't want to disinfect you like that. I didn't want to disinfect you like that. 
Um, did I send you the, um, or did Corinthia send you? I'm going to start giving her assignments because she be sending people to the class. <laughs> did you watch the video that I did um, at blackwomanlifecoach.com? I'll drop it in the comments. If not, go check that out because it will give you more um, information on the actual Life Coach Certification Training class. Did it just type it in there? It disappeared. Hey, Corinthia Denise Dixie. So, Kai is on here, and I'm talking with her. Thank you very much. And you about to get some new homework assignments, because I need you to be sending people this link to this, these, this video, so they can have the information they need, okay? She said, Corinthia sent me. I was like, that's my girl. <laughs> I ain't finna be on here talking long, Corinthia. I got to go. I got to be... <laughs> I got to be at on five o'clock on this other um, oh, private mastermind training. So thank you, Kai, for giving me permission to call you, Kai. I appreciate you. Um, okay, so you've seen the video. Okay, cool. So, and if you know anyone else who wants to become a coach, send that. Oh, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. Nope, not yet. All right. One last time. Any other questions before I go? Y'all know I can get lost on Facebook Live, but I can't do that to these other people who booked me weeks ago. So I gotta uh, be ready for them. Oh, hearts and minds clear. Any questions about accreditation? What it is? What the process is? Okay, you can do that. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. Do like this. Because you know we're down the street from each other breathing the same air. Okay? That's our thing. <laughs> I wish I could drive through real quick and get a Starbucks real quick. I'm gonna need one. Anyway, um, that's all I got. I was excited to share that with you guys. That this topic and if life coaches can get sued have been the two most exciting topics I've discovered and uncovered as it relates to life coaching. Child, you have to dig through my archives on my videos to see that one because that was a two-parter too. Coaches around the world are getting sued but it's usually coaches who have not been certified. That's another topic for another day. It is tea and I was just as excited to share this that information as I was this one. Alright coach you can definitely inbox me. You know. You know how we do. And I'm going to jump off here handle our judge coach. Corinthia we have a coach who is a judge a tea, a your hunter is becoming a certified life coach. I may bring you in as her co-coaching client. You want to be coached by the judge? I can't wait to see her in action. She ain't no joke, child. So, I'm just happy. I'm happy to share this joy. Alright, y'all. For the 15th time, I'm going to go. <laughs> Remember, there is someone somewhere. They are waiting on you to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your light shine you give others permission to do the same a master life coach trainer AJ Austin got questions question mark post them in the comments below whether you're watching live with the replay I'm happy to come back and engage don't at me with no nonsense whoever watching this if you got something to say and it's not productive or positive keep it to yourself and I'll see y'all next time have a phenomenal day God bless bye friends <laughs>